So a couple of days ago, I said that I would say my theory on who sabotaged the RB Battles concert. Who was the one who brought all those drones and that big drum robot, whatever that thing was. Yeah, that thing was scary. But who was the one who brought them there and sabotaged the concert that we were gonna get? There's a lot of people who could have done it, honestly. Including Creecraft. Was Creecraft the one who sabotaged the concert? No. But yeah, today I want to talk about my theory on who sabotaged the concert. Who was it and why did they do it? So obviously, if you don't remember what happened, basically the concert got raided by all these bots and drones that someone sent through a portal. We then had to fight them, but they were too strong. So we had to go down so that we could escape in the ship. Then we were stuck in the ship for a good amount of time, two days actually. And we were being redirected to the old lobby, but someone redirected us to another place, which was the new lobby, the new lobby that we're in now. And that's what happened if you missed it. Which now comes to my theory on who I think it is. And this is who I think it is. Can we get a drum roll please? And I think it was Mr. Boringsworth. I know, I know, it might be a bit confusing. Like, why would he sabotage the concert? He's literally the person that we have to bring the bits to so that we can save the RB Battles universe. Well, in my opinion, that's what he's making us think. He's making himself look like the good guy by making us the weapon so that we can stop whoever is sabotaging the concert. But in reality, it really could have been him. And here's exactly why I think it is him. So in the season 3 trailer that was published a couple days ago, don't you think it's kind of weird how he just randomly appeared on a TV screen out of nowhere like they were just talking, the hosts were just talking and all of a sudden he just, he just appears like, like what? Like, doesn't that seem a bit odd? I mean, even the host thought it was weird that he just randomly appeared. Like, listen to this. If you want the gold version, good luck, battlers. <laughs> well, that was a turn of events. Man, that's really scary. I guess we better start looking for those bits and give them to Mr. Boringsworth as soon as we can. By the way, where was he interrupting the broadcast from? I've never seen that place before. Good question. Like, see, even they thought it was weird. Like, where did he even come from? Like, he just interrupted the broadcast out of nowhere. And like, did you hear that laugh? Like, that that laugh at the end? Let's, sh let's just hear it one more time. <laughs> yeah, that sounded like a pretty suspicious laugh, if you ask me. And the host didn't ask where he was when he was on the broadcast. Like, where was that place behind him? Well, if we just look at the things around him, like that board and the stuff around him, we can tell that it's Mr. Boringsworth's lab that is in the RB Battles lobby, the new RB Battles lobby. So you see right here, if we look right there, that is exactly where he recorded that right there, and that is exactly where he was broadcasting that to the host in the ship. So if we look at this, and then we go back to this, yeah, there is definitely a resemblance, so look at that. It's literally similar. There's the board, there's the board, there's that thing, and there's that thing. That's where he was. So when he was doing this, he was in his lab that is in the RB Battles lobby. Which actually brings me to my next point. When we were on the ship, and you could talk to Sabrina on the ship, this is what she said. Have you seen Mr. Boringsworth? Honestly, we never intended on putting this ship in the lobby, but Mr. Boringsworth insisted on building it. I'm glad he did. So that leaves us with two questions. Where was Mr. Boringsworth when all of this happened? And if he built the ship, why did he build it? There had to be a reason for it. Also, when we were about to land at the old lobby, this happened. All of a sudden, it, something just malfunctioned, and then all of a sudden the ship is just like broken and we gotta fix stuff. And then what makes it even more weird is that all of a sudden, we're not going to the old lobby anymore, and like we're going the opposite direction. And all of a sudden, we just land at this new lobby where Mr. Boringsworth's lab is? Like, is that not a coincidence? Like, how did the ship just turn around to the, in the opposite direction and somehow land in a new lobby? Like, obviously, someone was redirecting us to this specific place. And if you just think about it, Mr. Boringsworth's lab is found in this lobby, and we somehow land at this lobby. Isn't that kind of weird? And yeah, that is my theory. Mr. Boringsworth is the one who is sabotaging the concert. He's trying to make himself look like the good guy, but in reality, he's actually the bad guy. 
I'm sensing there's going to be a, a couple twists when we get all these bits and when we give it to him. I feel like he's going to turn on us and something's going to happen. He's going to become bad and try and do something. So yeah, I'm, I really think there's going to be a twist in this. I really just feel like we're getting set up here. Mr. Boringsworth is setting us up. Let me know what you guys think about my theory. Do you think Mr. Boringsworth did it? Or do you think he's a good guy? Is he a good guy or a bad guy? What do you guys think? I'm aiming towards more of the bad side. And that's basically it for this video. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.